Pops and welcome. Are you loving Saturday morning cartoons with Pops? I I love it. I love revisiting the X Men animated series, which drops Saturday mornings at nine. This is nine thirty Eastern time. Batman the animated series. I'm on episode eleven, which is Be a Clown, which the Joker is back. That's right. I I really love this episode. I kind of like this better than the Joker's favor, even though it's it, I don't know. I'm really back and forth on it because. What it is doing is just expanding and elaborating on the character. And that's what you want. You want um, good writing that can always be adding to the universe that they're building, adding to their characters, seeing their characters grow, experiencing story arcs. And this is one uh, for the Joker. And really, we kind of get some inspirations from Batman 89, right? Because you see... There's a TV uh, report that's playing about this horrible mayor. The mayor is definitely um, a villain in this Gotham situation that we're in right now. And he's railing against crime and all this other stuff. Anyway, the TV is basically uh, showcasing the mayor after this incident, railing against Batman and mass criminals. And he likens Batman to Joker. And Joker's like, ah, he starts freaking out in his little lair. Like, oh, no, he's nothing like me. And he's like, you know, he... um. And I dress better, which is always like the little bit of that that Joker humor as well. It's always in there. And he basically is like, I'm going after this mayor, right? And the premise of the show, Be a Clown, is because the kid, uh, the mayor's son, is going to have this birthday party. He's obsessed with like magic. And the mayor has brought in a clown, which is Jekko the Clown. Now, Jekko is actually the Joker when he comes in, right? And the clown is winning over this kid. This kid is enamored with Jekko. And the kid, there's a point, the pivotal moment is when he says, the advice I have for you, kid, is run away, find a great musician, uh, magician, and steal his act. So, of course, Joker is there with a hidden agenda, and that is, how do I kill the mayor and all these other rich people? And he sets up a, a birthday cake. And of course, it's a dynamite candle with a little Joker symbol on it. And at the last minute, Bruce, who's coming in late, of course, Bruce Wayne shows up with this giant package for the kid. And Bruce sees Jekko leaving and he hears that Joker laugh. He hears that Mark Hamill cackle, that faint yet distinct one of a kind. He knows something's wrong. And then he sees that candle. He sees that cake and he kind of pretends and knocks it over into the pool. And there's this massive explosion, which of course does nothing other than just prompt the mayor to be frustrated again. But what happened? The kid snuck away with the Joker. That's right. The police are trying to pick up the pieces and now Batman's going to have to, uh, you know, go on the hunt, right? And the kid doesn't get it. The kid doesn't understand um, that this is actually Joker, right? And he, Joe Jordan, the kid's name, it's James Jordan. He's going to be bait, right? And uh, basically, Batman gets knocked out. And Jordan's like freaking out a little bit when because when Batman wakes up, he's like doing the Houdini water tank, right? Joker's got him upside down in a straight jacket and pouring the water in. And, and Jordan's like really on needle, on, on pins and needles. He wants, oh my gosh. And Batman, of course, he gets free. And the Joker has one of the best lines. Oh, gosh, it's so good. It's like, well, they don't make straight jackets like they used to. And I should know. And I'm like, oh, it's so good. That's so good. I love that line. I love I love, the, I love the Joker as different type of menacing and a, a foil for Batman. Because, obviously, ultimately, Batman does get free from the tank. The Joker is, of course, revealed. The Joker um, uh, takes Jordan and they basically now we're on like to a, a roller coaster chase. Right. So Jordan and the Joker are in one car and they're going and Batman's trying to catch up. And I tell you what, oh, it's so funny. How many people don't know what a Cupid doll is? I just thought about that. Like Joker takes these Cupid dolls and he's throwing they explode. Right. And he misses and he misses and he goes, third one's a charm. Right. And it's like, I don't even know what a Cupid doll is like. Thanks to Batman animated series, right? Um, but B Batman's not there when it explodes and knocks the car off the track. Batman's actually caught up, right? And they start struggling a little bit. And of course, Batman's going to save Jordan and, and take him back home to the mayor. And of course, Jordan knows it was Batman who saved the day. I know this video is kind of short. I didn't want to do 
uh, more than one episode because the next two are, are definitely different. And I wanted to uh, kind of lump them together instead. And I just want to say, because, uh, you know, we haven't had all of the rogue gallery. We, we haven't, we haven't had Riddler. We haven't had penguin. We haven't had killer croc. We have, there's several others that we haven't had yet. you right. But we got Joker again, but we also didn't get like another long story or anything like that. We just get a one-off, right? We get a, here's Joker versus Batman. Here's the situation. It's very grounded, very real. There's not like thugs. There's not like a bunch of hired henchmen. It's just Joker and Batman. It's just Joker and Batman. It's just the menacing clown prince of crime taking on the Cape Crusader, um, particularly in that roller coaster chase scene at the end. This is the music is perfect. The anime animation is just it, it's beautiful. Everything about this show and the reason that it's held up and in such high regard and a high esteem is because it's just everything about it is just. 20 something minutes of just perfect execution on every level from the voices to the art, to the cues, to the, the, the amount of, of, of story that is uh, communicated in 20 minutes is just phenomenal. We can't get uh, an hour of screen time in movies to somehow develop characters as much as this show can do you. Cause you really do feel for Jordan and the mayor, his journey, the mayor actually has at least a little bit of a journey. I'm not sure that we feel like he's redeemed enough, but you at least go, oh crap, he's, he at least sees, oh man, something's wrong. Like I, I, I could be wrong here. And then starts to realize, look in a mirror, like I'm just been obsessed with all of this and not my own kid. Cause you know, when you lose something like that, it sort of shakes you to your core and you get at least a little bit of that. I don't know that I feel like I get enough of that. But what I do get enough of is Batman and Joker. Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill are, it's just, it's perfect. Um, it's, it literally just this, this, this epi episode really does embody just, just the perfection of those portrayals. And that's what I like the most about it. So hope you're enjoying Saturday morning cartoons. I know comments have been going crazy about what's next. I mean, I'm barely scratched the surface. I think there are what, 85 episodes of Batman animated series. I don't know that I'll take a break or not. I may may just take a break after each season or something like that. I don't know. Fit in something else just to kind of mix it up. But uh, I'm enjoying this. And it's like it literally is part of what kind of makes my week go. Because it's like, you know, getting two or three episodes, going through this, getting the videos put together, those kinds of ideas. like that. I, I'm loving it. You guys in comments have been amazing. Um, and I just enjoy the experience. I enjoy reflecting on something that's good as a Batman fan. Also cartoons. Also just one of the one of the goats one of the greatest animated series of all time so those are my thoughts love to hear from you love to hear your thoughts and input as always i am pops thank you so much for watching <laughs>